Hi everyone. Everybody got cabin fever yet? <laughs> Today it's raining here in Vermont where I live and um, taking advantage of this time to be inside doing this. I'm excited because I'm making a raised bed, a very big raised bed garden to put in my front yard because I don't have very much yard but I get sun. Anyway, I'm excited about that, getting that going. Uh, <laughs> Projects, fun projects. Keep Get your hands in the dirt, you know. Really feel connected to Mother Earth right now, to Gaia, because there's a lot of changes coming down. And my recommendation is the closer you are to the Earth, the better off you'll be. So that's my advice for today. On the roller today, we're going to do um, some real work for the end stretching. So working and stretching the hamstrings, the back of the legs, right? And... Um, also a little bit of challenge of the abs. So I'll just caution you at the beginning here um, because we're going to be going onto our shoulders like a into like a shoulder stand position in yoga or we're bringing our weight up and coming onto our shoulders. So please don't do only go as far as you're comfortable that way. I don't want anybody to hurt their neck, especially when your hips are raised off the ground on the roller, right? So to start with, we'll be on our mat with our roller under our feet. Well, no, not under your feet. To start with, have them behind your feet, right? We want to warm up for this. <laughs> so lie down with your, just pressing into the roller with your fingertips. Just kind of press it so the roller's pressing into the back of your ankles and your feet are lined up with your hips. Yeah. Just take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to curl your tailbone up and peel off the mat, right? So we're bridging up, kind of pressing the roller away from you. So you feel your shoulder blades going down your back here. Good. At the top of your bridge, just adjust your feet if you need to. Keep pressing the hips up. Nice deep breath and exhale down one bone at a time. Good. And then one more time. Nice deep inhale. Peel off the mat on your exhale. Good. Reaching those shoulders down, pressing into your roller with your fingertips. Inhale, exhale, all the way down. So warm up the spine a little bit. Now we're going to put our feet on the roller, but you have the option of not doing that if it's too much for you. Right. So if it hurts too bad, just take your feet off the roller. Now just make your kind of move the roller a little bit and make sure your feet are nice and evenly kind of distributed on the roller so you feel stable. And inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna we're gonna do a moving bridge. So peel off the mat one bone at a time to the top of our bridge. We'll take our arms up, lie them on the floor behind us. Good. Press your hips up on your inhale and bridge down, articulating all the way down on your exhale. Good. And then when you come down, bring your arms back by your side. One more time. Exhale. Peel off the mat. Taking your arms all the way behind you. Relax them on the floor as you inhale, pressing your sacrum up. Exhale, all the way down. Good. And then arms by your side. Nice deep breath. Exhale. This time we're going to go up into our bridge and then bring our arms straight up to the ceiling. So just let your shoulders be heavy on the mat. Palms are facing. Let your weight shift a little to your right leg and lift your left knee up. Again, if this is too much for you, do it with your feet on the mat. And you're going to touch the toe down and lift. Touch the roller down and lift. If you get a little Charlie horse, please do this on the mat. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. You don't want to do too many of these. All right. Feet on the roller. Shift your weight. Right leg up. Good. Inhale, touch down. Exhale, lift. Good. Or maybe your hips won't be up so high. Whatever you can do here. 
pretty hard. All right. Exhale. One more. And bring it up. Good. Foot on the roller. Good. Center yourself. Arms over the head. Relax your shoulders. Nice deep breath and articulate your spine all the way down. I can hear you saying, owie, ouch. Okay, arms by your side. Now open your knees apart so the sides of your feet are resting on the roller. Your feet can be touching. I like to do it with my feet touching. Inhale, press your hips up on your exhale. So we're going into a, I call it a hip opening bridge, right? Take a nice deep breath as you hold your hips up and articulate your spine all the way down. And we'll just do that one more time, relax. Fill your lungs with air and then press the hips up. Keep pressing them up as you inhale. Articulate your spine all the way down on your exhale. Keep your knees apart like this, open, and then just roll the roller away. Straightening your legs. Back to parallel, pull the roller back. Open the hips, straighten the legs, legs parallel, pull the roller back, right? So we just wanna relax our hips here. One more time, pull the roller back and then bring your roller inside, feet on the other side. We're gonna lift our hips and put the roller under the sacrum. So we wanna center it right under the sacrum here. Make sure you've got your roller pretty even on both sides too. That helps, I think. So, you know, you're not too far on one side. And then bring, we're gonna do the stretch later. So we're gonna bring one leg up and then the other leg up. We'll do the psoas stretch after we're done. Good. And then from here, just straighten your legs to the ceiling. Yeah. Rotate your legs apart. Externally rotate them, I mean, and then open out. Just let them hang. You might want to hold on to your legs even here. Yeah. Flex and point. Flex and point. Circle the ankle. Both ankles. <laughs> and we're going to bring the legs back together. Ah, now, keeping your right leg up, Extend your left leg down, right? So here we feel our pelvis level. Maybe your leg doesn't come all the way down, but really try to keep it straight, right? And here we have our pelvis level on the roller. We're going to hold on to our right leg, and we're just gonna stretch our legs here, and maybe flex and point the feet, yeah. Give them a good stretch. So you really get a nice stretch when your hips are on, you know, bolstered up like this, right? And then slide your toes along the mat, draw your left leg up, grab hold, and stretch your right leg down. Really stretch that leg, really reach. It may not touch the ground, right? but we're doing the splits here. And again, you might want to flex and point. Flex and point, roll your ankles. And then again, slide your toes, bring the right leg up, hold on, stretch your left leg down. Really do the splits. Slide your left toes along the mat, left leg comes up, stretch your right leg down. Good. So we're going a little faster in this little bicycle movement, but really emphasize the splits, right? So hang out in the splits for a little bit and then you move the legs. So I really wanna focus on stretching through the hip flexors, the top of the thigh, the back, everything's getting a stretch here. Good. And then when you feel sufficiently stretched out, you can bring your hands on the ends of your roller and go into a little single straight leg stretch or scissors. And again, feel that level pelvis so you're really your, your sacrum is your fulcrum, right? So your fulcrum is right under you here. And maybe you want your legs to be externally rotated to keep the hips open, right? It's usually more comfortable 
but it can be also parallel. Good, and just move the legs and really split the legs. I mean, we really tightened our hamstrings up with that last thing we did, so <laughs> we're stretching them out here. Right. And breathe. Good. And then we're going to bring both legs up again to the ceiling. Make sure you're externally rotated, open apart, flex, bring the legs together. Good. Now put your hands on top of the roller and or wherever you're comfortable. I like to do it that way. So what we're going to do is slowly lower the legs, right? externally rotated. Slowly bring them down until you feel your abs really start to engage, right? So they'll be at an angle, something like that. And you'll really notice your pelvis will kind of come a little past level maybe, and then you'll really feel your abs engage. That's where you want to stop. And then open the legs apart, bring them back to the top. And again, take it down to that angle. Feel it for yourself. Where is that angle? How far to go? Open it and bring it back. Good. One more time. Take it down. Open it out. Circle back. And then we'll reverse that. So open apart and take the legs down together and up. Open apart. Feel free to rest if you need to. I mean, I can feel it right now, so I would like to rest, but I'm not going to. Okay, and bring it back. And then we're gonna add a lift. So I want you to feel like you're comfortable enough lifting your hips off the roller by bringing your legs towards you a little bit and just lifting like that. So see if you can do that to kind of warm up. And if you need to adjust, right, make sure your roller's under your sacrum. So kind of feel how high, maybe it's a little lift. Everybody's gonna be different. Okay, then we're gonna take it apart, draw the legs down and together, bring them up and lift off the roller. Pressing into the roller to bring yourself back down, right, with control. So open apart, bring the legs down and together, Lift up into what's called a jackknife, basically, in Pilates, right? So you're coming up onto the shoulders or in that general direction. <laughs> you don't have to come all the way up. Some of you might be able to come all the way up, way up there, but you don't have to. I really think it's best if we work on our control, right? So open apart, circle down and together. And we're working on our control to come back down to the roller. Good, last one. Open it apart, sweep it down, bring it up, and over. Maybe you can hold there for a moment too and bring it back down. Some days I'm stronger than others. Today I'm not feeling quite as strong. <laughs> and then from here, just bend your knees, right, so you can Kind of stretch the low back a little bit. And we're going to do a psoas, a lovely psoas stretch. So bring your feet onto the mat like that. Make sure you feel your sacrum right under there. Straighten your right leg and take your right arm behind you on the floor. And just really stretch that leg out and do a little side bend. So take just a little side bend to the left here. Yeah, and this is gonna really release the psoas, upper lower psoas, and also the hip flexors, as you can tell. You might wanna bring your left knee in too, right? To kind of add to that stretch. Yeah. And just breathe here. And you actually don't have to have a roller to do this. We'll come back to center, put our feet down. You can do this on any kind of a bolster, right? It's really nice for the, the stretch on a bolster or pillows, whatever you have. Left leg stretches long, 
left arm over the head and just a little side bend to the right here. Yeah, and just relax and breathe. Yeah, so anything you have to bolster yourself if you don't have a roller at, at the moment when you want to do this nice relaxing stretch. The roller's kind of hard actually. Pillows would be more more nice anyway under the under the sacrum. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so then bringing yourself back around, bending the knees, and I'm sure your sacrum will be happy to push that roller out. So lift up your hips oh, and lower them down. <laughs> and we'll come around and up to sitting. Yeah, I've done looking at the ceiling for a while. Okay, <laughs> so thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope that was pretty clear as far as what I wanted was expecting us to do. If you're not familiar with that, those of you that are familiar with it, you know what I'm what we were doing. So thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Take good care. <laughs>